Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the thorax. I, as I said, there are three main regions, right? One is a head, then second is thorax and the third is abdomen. So head is done. Now we will talk about thorax. Head is connected to thorax by neck as I said before also and that neck is very flexible in nature and that is why the head also gets some flexibility because otherwise thorax is quite stiff and it forms like uh, the base of the body. I mean not base, you can see the framework of the body. So it is quite stiff and hard. So head is connected to thorax by neck. Now there are three parts of the thorax, prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. So these are the three regions of thorax, pro, meso and meta. Now meso means middle. So the middle portion of thorax is going to be mesothorax. The initial portion is prothorax and the later portion is metathorax. So where do we have our prothorax? This portion just below the head is the prothorax. Just below that is mesothorax and even below that is metathorax so these are the three regions so pre prothorax bear the four legs so from prothorax four legs arise from mesothorax the middle legs arise and from metathorax the hind legs and hind wings arise so basically four legs are also known as pro thoracic legs similarly middle legs are also called mesothoracic legs and similarly the hind legs are called metathoracic legs and the four wings arise from mesothorax and the hind wings arise from metathorax now in this picture you might be thinking okay hind leg is arising almost from abdomen that is not the case basically the metathorax will extend till here similarly this is the domain of mesothorax again this would be the part of prothorax so that is how it is so the diagrams will not have exact uh, dimensionally correct dimensionally the diagrams might not be exactly correct but that is the concept Right? So this thorax region has powerful musculature to operate all the locomotory organs. So basically the thorax region controls all locomotory organs because locomotory organs in case of cockroaches, wings and uh, legs. So they are all located in the thoracic region because of the strong musculature of thorax. Now the last and the third part or region of cockroach that is abdomen. Now abdomen is one of the longest uh, segment and it consists of 10 segments. It is well segmented. Now when you look at the abdomen part of a male and a female uh, cockroach, you see that there are few differences between the two. Now the 10th segment, that is the last segment, bears a pair of uh, jointed filamentous structure which are called anal cerci. So these structures are known as anal cerci. Now the lowermost part of the abdomen also consists of the genital organs, the female genital parts, the male genital parts, all those things are also part of abdomen. So let us quickly look at the dorsal view and the ventral view. So this is how the dorsal view is for a male and a female cockroach. So what do you see? There is one additional thing in the male cockroach and this is known as anal style. This is present in male cockroach and is not present in the female cockroach. So basically each of these segments is known as abdominal segment. As you see they are all well segmented. So this anal style is not present in the females. So similarly, if you look at the ventral view, this is how it looks from the lower side. So here you can see the anal style more appropriately because it basically is arising from here. But when you see it from the back side, you could just see this part. Right? Talking about the genital part, 
In the females, the genital pouch is present in the 7th, 8th and 9th sternum. Right? What is sternites? You remember I was talking sclerites, dorsally they are called tergites and ventrally they are called sternites. So on the ventral part, this is male and this is female. So on the ventral part, in the female, the uh, genital pouch is present in the 7th, 8th and 9th segment. So if this is the 10th, this is the last segment, then it is it has to be present in the 7th, 8th and 9th segment. So female, what are the female genital pouch consist of? Female genital organs will have the female pore, spermatical pores, collateral glands. We will talk about all these things when we talk about the reproductive system of cockroach. Similarly, the male genital pouch will be present in the 9th to 10th sternites on the dorsal side. So, for male, it is present on 9th and 10th segments, whereas in female, it is present, in, present on 7th, 8th and 9th segments. So, anal style is present in males and not in females. So, basically, if you look at the abdomen, the important features of abdomen is it, is, it has uh, well-segmented parts and uh, the genital parts, that is the male sex organs and the female sex organs are present in the abdomen. We will discuss about their structure in more detail when we talk about the reproductive system of cockroach. So with this we have discussed the morphology of cockroach. Now is the time to discuss about anatomy. That is the internal structure of cockroach. So whenever we talk of anatomy, we basically discuss all the life processes taking place inside the body of cockroach like the digestive system, circulatory system, respiratory system, nervous system, excretory system and the reproductive system. So we will go through each of these systems one by one in case of cockroach and we will try to find out how they are similar or how they are dissimilar or how they are related to the systems in earthworm. So that is how you get an idea that okay in earthworm it was like that, in cockroach it is like that. So if you think of a butterfly, you can at least guess how it should be. And, and that is our agenda. That is why we are discussing it for only three organisms. But those three organisms are quite different from each other. Just to see the difference in the various systems. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.